welcome back to my channel it's your girl az nay williams how are you all doing hope you guys are good hope you guys are fine if you're new to this channel kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video it's the fifth day of september it's onyeka's birthday big brother niger season nine housemate the current head of house the first solo head of house in the past season onyeka the versatile onyeka happy happy birthday to her housemates came together to say some prayers and wish her happy birthday today yes guys the one that actually touched my heart a lot has got to be the one by one please take a listen Smartness, your intelligence, your talent will always be for you like it has done in this house. Like for the first week, you were bought up for. Look at it, all the people that want to out, they don't go out, they watch it from us. The people that watch me become a chore. And that's how that's what God has just been showing you what he has in store for your life. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. I want you to just remain yourself and become. Just stay in your power, maintain your power, and don't be scared to be powerful, don't be scared to be bold. And the money will make it this way, but no way. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, Onyeka was in tears. She was crying. It was a beautiful birthday wish. I know that later today, Big Brother is going to be surprising her with lots and lots of goodies. I mean, it's a pool party day. Everything is just aligning for her favor. Yes, guys, I am super excited for her because, I mean, Onyeka is one housemate that has shown herself in that house and I really want her to have a beautiful birthday celebration. Yes, guys. Now, Onyeka's birthday Day isn't the only celebration that went down last night as it was a wambe party in the big brother niger house yes golden penny came calling and the housemates rose up to the occasion they had their golden penny tags it was put into two parts the first one being a puzzle where they have to find four words they were divided into four teams and the second part my favorite part where they had to cook literally cook nigerian meals a team was made to cook um miyankuka from the north another team had to make afang from the south south another team had to make the universal a goosey soup and another team had to make a foriro from the west side of nigeria and their other members the other members of their team had to write a poem about golden penny semovita celebrating their 60th year anniversary and in the kitchen all the housemates went to cook and they cooked they cooked the food were looking tantalizing and beautiful i mean i wish i was there but i'm not there but at the end of the day um the poem that got my heart i'm not even gonna lie is onyeka's own ah ah that girl her penmanship her everything she's a versatile queen she stole my heart with that poem and i give it an a plus and for me looking at the foods i think all of them looked good even though yes i wasn't really a fan of nelly using her hand to be you know molding and all that but i mean it all looked good now big brother also asked them to grade themselves and they had to eat and grade themselves and i said that big brother said it's time to partake ah um uh, it kind of reminds me of going to parties it's been a long time it kind of reminds me of going to parties weddings naming ceremonies it was a party big brother gave them kunu zobo palm wine hey Anyways, it was celebration. Like these guys were eating. People that give them the permission. That's the first time this season is happening to eat the food. If you see the way these guys rush the food, eh? Hey, you will not say hunger day for land. Oh my, they chop, oh, they chop this food. Chop, chop, chop. Suji. Hey, Samuel Osuji Chineke. Nah. The guy was eating and eating and eating and eating. I'm like, waiting happen. You fall inside well. <laughs> Anyways, I mean, after that, Big Brother declared. Team A gives the overall winner. It's a back-to-back -back win for Victoria. Baby girl has been on a winning spree. The other time it was Indomie. Now it's Golden Penny Timovita. A very big congratulations to them. The team consists of Suge, Ozzy, and Cassia, and of course Victoria. But that's just not the only interesting thing that happened yesterday. 
Ah, Big Brother sent Ben on a mission. So earlier during his diary session, Ben wanted to know the outcome of the, is it the Airtel or the um, Smenov? I think it's the Airtel tax. And Big Brother said, okay, if you want that, I mean, do something and you'll be rewarded with that answer. And Big Brother told him, because he talked about the eggs, and Big Brother told him, okay, um, go retrieve all the hoarded and hidden eggs in the house. And first he went to check, 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 check. And later on, after they are golden penny tax, this guy started to form like something was wrong with him. Oh, Chisoba kept asking, Ben, kilo dinner, waiting, waiting, they do you. Ben, are you okay? Ben, are you okay? Ben was like, I'm not okay, I'm not okay. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. And Chisoba was really like very uncomfortable with the whole thing. She was really concerned. We did not know <coughs> that Ben wanted to turn to legend of the seeker of eggs. The egg hunts man later at night. Ah, that was how when men slept, Ben went to search for eggs. And eggs he did find. He searched high and low. He searched the bathroom. He searched people's boxes, people's closets. Ah, um, if you see the number of eggs that was retrieved by Ben, almost eight crates of egg. And Big Brother, you know, Big Brother is a crazy person. He opened the diary room for him and Ben was depositing all those eggs into the diary room. Like it was funny watching him. I'm like, ah, the commotion. The Wahala. Well, with this housemates, I'm not even expecting much. But this housemate, they love their eggs too much. So I'm expecting them to react and fight, you know, um, when they realize that their eggs are no more. Ben, well done. <laughs> well done. Well played. I hope he gets his reward from Big Brother. Yes. Now, there's something that happened last night that I quite don't understand. Am I the only one that my Big Brother Niger um, feed kept going off like it will go off you will see them oh sorry for the breaking transmission it happened almost like four or five times and i keep wondering what is going on that's number one number two these guys gave us this post I, um yesterday telling us or trying to let us know that we should tune in that the parrot is about to talk parrots no talk Parrots mute. Maybe the parrots went mute because, you know, TJ was looking over the parrot. Maybe that's the reason why the parrot decided not to talk. Maybe the parrot is shy. I mean, TJ was prodding and podding. So maybe, you know, um, the parrot became shy. Like, don't talk me like that, TJ. I cannot talk next time. <laughs> but honestly this guy's really made me stay up well i'm grateful that i stayed up because i mean i enjoyed everything that happened but still i was waiting for the power to talk and the power did not talk i be they are planning to bring doing mm, maybe they are planning to bring doing to come and do the talking instead of the parrot. Mm, we do not know but whatever it is big brother better fix up don't be doing this thing don't be telling people something's gonna happen meanwhile something's not gonna happen but maybe in their defense they'll tell you like uh we didn't give you time shall we just said tune in so mm, anyways that's that sean and wani chinekena hmm they decided to have a conversation sean is like Talking to Sean is like, like pouring water inside a basket. It goes nowhere. It's just like pouring water on a stone. It dries up. He keeps simple, I am sorry. Like even in the diary room, people are try to let him know, okay, your feelings are valid, but still, do you not see where you went wrong in all of this? But this guy... He just, at some point, people just had to tell him your diary session is over. Just oh, go leave. And Wani, you know... She was planning on business until she wasn't. I mean, this guy went to hug her from behind during the golden penny tags, kind of softened her. Then they decided to have a conversation. Imagine sitting there listening to nothing, basically, because that just you giving yourself headache. Tell me why for two hours you're just listening to somebody that refuses to understand, that always, you know, um, wants to l hear, not listen, hear to respond. Ha! Good luck to Wani and this has shown relationship because, ah, 
Koye Mio. Well, that's my own two cents. I had fun last night. I danced my heart out thanks to Golden Penny. Yes, guys, did you enjoy Ben's actions? Let me know in the comment section. On that note, I'd like to say a very big thank you to you all for being part of my channel. If you have not yet subscribed, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Until I come your way again, I remain your darling girl, Izzy Nee Williams. Have yourself a beautiful, wonderful day ahead.